Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back with Avellino for our April review. Uh, and we're really closing down towards the end of the season now. We've only got four games left. We've got this Livecom versus Pescara, and we've got three games left after that. So, really coming down to the wire now, and today's game has a certain significance to it. But, we're going to review uh, April. It's been a bit of a mixed bag of results, and a lot of red cards, as per usual. So, into the games. After that 3-1 win over Cotone, we went to face on Brescia. And we took the lead through Kevin Mercado. Uh, quite a nice goal here. Uh, I'll put on the TV. There we go. Oh. Uh, we'll put on... Falls into him. Mercado intercepts and puts it in the back of the net in the 50 minutes. So I thought, thinking, oh, that's good. We can We can go on from there. They did equalise on the 73rd minute through Alessandro Budel. And then, uh, guess who got decided to send it off again? That didn't sound right. Um, Prestia gets sent off for the third time this season. And then Alex Guijo obviously goes and scores immediately afterwards. So we lost that one 2-1 and they were about 21st in the league. It's They're so far down the league and we lose to them. It's such... Oh, these red cards... After that, um, though, we had a home game versus Latina, and this was another red card fest. Uh, Castaldo took the lead early on in the ninth minute. Um, good goal here. Lopez puts it into the box. Halberg, Castaldo with a header into the corner to put us up 1 0. After that, um, they, for all Federico uh, Moretti, got a yellow in the 13th minute and then got his second yellow in the 17th minute. So he was sent off for that. After that, Insigne scored in the 25th minute to put us up 2 0. Halberg again the assister. Insigne with a great finish there. Um, and then they had. Oh, oh sorry. Um, and then after that, we got a penalty through Cristalo that made it 3 0. Second half comes around. 45th minute, Calderoni gets booked. And 59th minute, he gets booked again. And it's another red card, so they're down to nine men. So, in the space of three games, we've had six red cards. And not one of them has actually been a straight red. They're all, they've all been yellow, uh, yellows, then reds. It just is ridiculous how much. I don't know why. It ruins the games, in a way. Um, so, after that, though, we took on Susena. And we just collapsed against this team. Uh, they went 1-0 up through Magnussen. Early on, penalty in the 45th minute, just to add insult to injury. And then late on, Juricic scored. And that was a 3-0 loss, our biggest loss of the season. They had a lot more possession, but I don't think we should have lost that badly. Um, we did play a bit of a B team, I guess, because we did have Perugia next. And this was a big game because they were second and we were at home. But we handled it well. We won 3-0 uh, in Signe with the first goal in the 10th minute to start us off well here. Nicker on the ball. Gave it out to uh, Mavrias and Insigne puts it in the back of the net. Another goal for him. They've been doing well um, on loan. After that, Chris uh, Mavrias gets a goal. Um, has been a bit injured for a while, so he's been out of the picture. But good running by him. He played very well in this game. He gets us a goal and puts us up 2-0. And then um, after that, we had Kevin Mercado score to make it pretty pretty nice roundup of the game. Being second place, 3-0. Um, and then, as you know, you saw there, 88th minute, uh, Marco Chiosa gets sent off for a second yellow. So that is another red card. So that is pretty ridiculous. And then recently we just played Modena away, and then it was just a, a really poor performance. Uh, they scored early on, and then late on as we went for it. 2-0 loss. Quite even, I guess. They had a, they had a two, the clicker chance, but really, really poor game by us. Um, yeah, so... Otherwise, there isn't much left to go over. We just have this live com versus Pescara next, so I'll be back with that. All right, guys, so we are back with the team lineup uh, for the Pescara game. And news has just come in that uh, if Avellino gain one point in this game, they actually win the league. So we could win the league right here uh, in this game, so that's pretty good there. Um, and I take you through the, the sort of lineup. We've got an injured Fratelli in goal. Uh, the problem has been that uh, our other keeper completely forgotten his name for the time being. 
uh, across got injured in the Brescia game, and he's been injured since. And we've had, been having to put like other Sor- Sorrentino. Sorrentino, he was the cause of both of those Brescia goals. It was so bad uh, because Cross had to come off. So we have an injured Fratelli playing. So hopefully that doesn't hinder us too much. But he's the best we have. Nicker playing right back. Presti and Chiosa centre backs. Visconti left back. Angelo defensive mid. Halberg centre mid. Zito on the left. Uh, Insigne attacking playmaker. Gavazzi on the right and Castaldo up front. So we're going straight into the game. Obviously, he's not fully fit, but we have to play him. So we are actually not the favourites for this game, even though Piscara are in 14th. I guess due to that uh, uh, game against Modena where we just didn't play very well and lost 2-0, I guess we're not favourites anymore, which is a bit weird, seeing as we're top of the league and could win it today with just one point and we're not the favourites coming into this game. Um but we'll see how things go from there. Let's take everything else off them. Like that. Like that. And then just do the striker. So last time we played Pescara, I think we drew away. So hopefully we can get the win here. Or even a draw. I'm happy with a draw because that means we win the league on a live com, which would be a very, very nice way to finish our first season. And we can start planning towards next season in this area, um, which is going to be a big game because we've been playing we need a lot of new players like Chiosa and uh, Chiosa and Presti are really our only centre backs because they've been they when they get uh, oh nearly getting a goal there um, they've been getting sent off and stuff and I have to play like youngsters like one star centre backs which isn't the best so we definitely need them um, we need an attacking playmaker obviously Cavazzi shoots wide there I think we need a new left back because um, as good as Visconti is, I don't think he's Serie A quality. I think we need another centre mid. Insigne here. Nicker. Oh, saved by the keeper. Um, and I would also want a new striker. Maybe a new right back. Because Nico is Nico is just a... Um... Insigne actually gets us off to another good start. Insigne has been doing really well on the goals so far. Great play. Nicker plays it into Castaldo. Holds it up. And then just plays it across. Easy stuff. Insigne, bottom corner, 1-0, 15 minutes up. On course for promotion and winning the title, I think. Um, but yeah, obviously Nicker is a low knee. So unless we can get him back for next year or buy him, we will have to look for another right back. And I think we just need a lot more depth overall if we're actually planning on staying in Serie A, which I certainly plan on doing. Um, but yeah, it's been a very good year. I didn't think we would do so well. Um, especially with a new FM and you sort of have to get used to everything and how the new game works as Gavazzi just puts it wide. Um, but it's definitely done a lot better and it's a bit of a weird formation. I don't I don't think I've ever really played with this formation, but the way it, it sort of turned out has worked out very well. But I don't know how well it will work in Serie A up against the likes of Juventus and stuff. There's definitely going to be some thrashings, I feel, feel next year as Zito heads over. We've got all the chances so far. Come on, get a little, let's get this second goal. Make it a little bit more comfortable for us because, as seen in the Brescia game, one red card and uh, everything changes. Or a free kick, but that goes straight over. No yellow cards so far, which has been quite good. Normally we're at four or five red cards at this point. They're getting, starting to get a bit more the possession back and they hit wide again. Coming up to half time now. We want to get into the break leading to Angelo and to Zito. Going to play it down the line to Castaldo. Holds it up again to Zito. Gavazzi back post off the bar. Oh, that would have been a good, good goal to go into the break with. Nick is still on the ball. That's cleared. I think that's going to be the end of the highlight. Yeah, there we go. Insigne. No. Oh, is it there going to be a counter? It might be a counter attack from Pescara. Even though it shouldn't be, seeing as we have so many more players back than them, but they can't seem to tackle them. Chiosa with a good tackle, it falls straight to him, and I don't, why didn't the keeper come out for that, but thankfully it was saved. Really poor goalkeeping, with cross out, it's been a bit of a worry with any keeper in, in uh, involved. I'm going to tell him not to get complacent, because that is exactly what we were doing towards the end of that half. Hopefully we can get the second goal early on, and then sort of cruise into our title win. Okay. They've made a substitute already. Let's change that up. Have they changed formation? No, they've still kept with the same formation. They changed the midfielder. Okay. 
Another chance here. No, it's just thrown straight to them, but if given straight back. And Mamushaj. Oh my god. The first straight red, maybe. I think we might have had another one this year, but there we go. Another red card. Good stuff. And now are they going to score? No, nope, that goes out for a corner, but I'm going to... They made a substitution. They brought on a right back. So that is another red card. It is ridiculous how many red cards there's been. I don't, like... Is it just because it's Italy? I don't think there's normally this many red cards in Italy. But my god. Hopefully we can sort of take control now, seeing as they are down to 10 men. Um, they've made all of their substitutions as well. They've changed formation up a little bit. Um, brought on another centre mid. Oh, it was their substitute that got the red card. Another corner from us. D'Angelo with a chance there, but it's blocked on the line. So close to going up 2-0. Another chance here, I guess. But it's time for Pescara, maybe. No, don't, don't. Oh, there, good, good win. Cavazzi's open on the right. He's going to put the ball in, but he's blocked. Halberg's going to try and whip a ball in. Gives it to Cavazzi. They're going to try again. Cavazzi, Halberg, back from fourth between the two of them. Zito, and that goes out for a corner. We really should get another goal or two now, seeing as they are down to 10 men. As really poor play from that corner. Cavazzi just hits it into the side netting. Going up to the last 20 minutes. Going to make some substitutions. Gavazzi is going to come off for Mavrius. Uh, Trotter is going to come on for Castaldo. Uh, yep. Yeah. And then leave it at that for now. As Chiosa gives a foul away. Is that his first yellow card? No, just a warning. No yellow cards for us so far. It's a miracle. Can we get through a game without any yellow cards? Some corners cleared originally. Insigne wins that back. Good stuff by him. He's a man of the match so far, I'd say. Visconti into D'Angelo. Halberg. Mavrias. Puts a back post. No. Try again. Nico's on the ball this time. Zito picks up the uh, save from Florio. Good, good play from Nico. Um, thought he was going to just completely whiff the shot, but the keeper palms it straight to Zito, who's on hand to put it in the back of the net and seal our title victory as there's no one in the stands. Did you see that? It was just no one. It's incredible. Was, are they all down this end or something? Because there was just, there was nothing. Not even any away fans. We'll have to look at the attendance. We've still got quite a few chances though. Insigne, actually 3-0. Chiosa, we're strolling to it. It's his first ever goal of the season. Great play, 3-0 now. Really making it look comfortable. Another chance. Are we going to make it four? Halberg into D'Angelo, into Trotter. No. At least not for now. But good. there's been a solid performance. It has, well, it's been affected by the red card. Nearly every game we've played, like every other game it seems, is affected by a red card or two. And that changed the, the sort of result of the game due to that. Trotter on the ball here. Block, shot blocked. But hopefully that doesn't continue as much into the uh, real game. Because I don't think red cards are that common. Um, I'll have to look and sort of add it up at the end of the season throughout the league. What's, happen what's happened with red cards and whatnot. But there we go. 3-0. We've won the title, I think. Or we've definitely got promoted. Let's have a little look. 84 points now. I think we're long way off. Yep, we are up we are promoted definitely there's a steam achievement for it we win the serie b get in so we have won it in our first season so do a little press conference good stuff board set initial budgets transfer budget of 8.76 million and 120k per week that's a lot better than uh, the starting value so we've got quite a bit of money to work with um going to be doing a lot of transfers now even though we're not at the end of the season i want to be looking at a lot of people to sort of change things um and bring people in so more brings glory to avellino delighted to, to checo he's a former favorite good stuff good stuff so we have three games left calgary navara and lanciano i will play the last game i think um no, actually, I'm not going to play the last game. I'm going to do these three games, and then I'm going to get to this sort of end of season review, and then review it from there through the season on a whole. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's been Alex, and I'll see you guys later.